Hello, so this is a short video to show you how to use our MOOC. First, you must connect to our MOOC platform called Claroline Connect. Okay, I'm connected. Um, so in this platform, you can be registered to several MOOC. So you have to select the ideal MOOC here. Yeah. And you arrive on the home page of the ideal MOOC. You can also read your messages from here. And then if you want to go back to the MOOC, you have to select again the ideal MOOC here. Okay, when you are here, you will see the tabs uh, of each lesson that will appear will, week after week. So let me use my admin privilege so I can use lesson one. So you will have to select your lesson here and uh, you will have to, to read the, all the explanation here and uh, proceed with the activities for this lesson. And um, these activities will invite you to um, talk with other participants in our Google Plus community. So you can click here. And here you see our Google Plus community associated with the MOOC. Let me go back to the Caroline Connect. Um, you can also interact with other participants using our forums. So you go here. There is a present yourself section. Present yourself. And you can see that other participants have already started to, to present themselves. So let me go back to the Ideal MOOC again. Lesson one. Uh, so we, we don't want to advertise for, for Google, but we, we prefer using the Google Plus community. It's probably more efficient than uh, our, plat our forum in the MOOC. But if you don't want to use a Google account, you can use our forum. Okay, and then you can read the lessons of the MOOC. So uh, you will be pointed to our website where we prepared all the lessons of the MOOC. So here on the left, you can see the six lessons plus the conclusion. And each week we will release the lesson. So here, lesson one, we have five pages. This is page one. You can click next to page two. Etc. So you can read the lessons, and uh, if you want to comment these pages, you can use this Google Plus Share button here, and uh, um, you can share your comments in our community. So let me look for the developmental AI MOOC. There is a special category for discuss a course material here. And here, you, if you click on share, uh, you will create a post in this community and you can enter your comments and ask questions to other participants and so on. I am not going to do it. And if you want to see all the comments of other participants, you can use this link here that will point to all the posts in the community that have the specific hashtag for this page. But here there is none yet. Okay, if you, if you are interested in programming, you will see uh, example of programs. So you can click on these examples and it will point you to the, to the Java code that you can see online and you can download the Java file, or you can connect to our SVN repository to download the whole project at once. Okay, then I proceed through the lesson. Here you have a list of suggested readings. 
Um, so you can click on the readings to, to download the, the papers if they are open access or to see the books if they are not open access. Um, that doesn't, if the book is not open access, that doesn't mean you cannot find it somewhere in the web, but you will have to, to search by yourself. I do not provide links to un, uh, unofficial uh, versions. Okay, and here again, you can uh, use the same technique with Google Plus to suggest other readings. Uh, here on the top right, you have this share link that allows you to share this page also to Facebook, Twitter, Reddit or LinkedIn. Um, but there I did not create any special category for, for the course. So uh, you will be on, on your own if you, if you share on these uh, networks. You can also read the course on a mobile device like a tablet or a cell phone. So if the, if the screen is small, the page will reorganize in a single column. So you can choose a lesson here, for example, lesson three, and then you have to go down to see it. And the share link will be at the bottom. So then when you are done with reading the lessons, you can go back to the uh, MOOC platform and uh, answer a short questionnaire about the lesson here. Yeah. Here it is. And when you have finished with this questionnaire, you are done. Oh, and don't miss this language button here. That allows you to switch the interface to Spanish, French, or English. Only the interface, not the, the content of the, of the course, of course. Okay, this is it. So I hope you like it and have fun.